Hi guys, it's Deb here. Welcome back. This is the second video in the Reject, Reject Shop collab um, that I am doing with Rach, who is the closet scrapbooker, and you'll find a link below to her channel and her video. Now, uh, our first video is a scrapbook layer, and I'm doing a 9x12 one. Now, I grabbed some scrap paper and I punched out some hexagons to just play around and get some placement of where I might want things and how many hexagons I wanted on my layout before I started punching into that beautiful pattern paper. So I just um, arranged it. I'm going to take a photo because I'll never remember that. <laughs> And then I am going to pick out my papers and this is I've sped a lot of this up because it did I played around so much and um, the footage kind of got a bit long <laughs> so I'm just using the same punch it's a Fiskars punch I believe it might be a one inch hexagon punch I'm not sure I'll leave that info below because it's downstairs and I'm upstairs at the moment so just punching out some of the pattern paper and then I did fuss around for a very, very long time um, getting it onto my page and uh, getting the patterns where I found it pleasing to my eye. Now I wasn't too fussed with like the, the gap between each one. All I wanted to make sure was that they were straight on the um, actual layout. And I did pop up some, I end up popping up three. I pop up two to start off with and I didn't pop up the third one until I knew where my embellishments were going because I played around with that for some time too and I did cut a lot of that out. But um, yeah, just I, I had a lot of fun playing around with this layout. I, I'm really happy with the way it turned out too. So it's jumped board and I didn't press record but I did put some washi tape and punch some borders out of some pattern paper with my Fiskars punch. The gold washi tape is from the reject shop as well. And I grabbed my little retro flower punch. I think it's the medium one. I'm not sure if it's called the medium one. It's the middle size one. And I punched some flowers out of the black and with the white dots. Uh, the white polka dots and the black background and this floral uh, paper and I'm just curling it up with a toothpick. I honestly struggled actually. I'd cut my finger quite badly and I'm wearing this ginormous, well it felt ginormous band-aid on the tip of my finger and then I'd also <laughs> burnt my thumb on my left hand as well. So I kind of struggled but I got there. So just roughing that flower up and I do do two of them flowers, uh, one for each side of the flowers from the reject shop and I did pull them flowers apart. Um, I just carefully peeled them apart. They came apart quite easily and that way I'm going to get more out of that packet of flowers. And you can see the gold, um, the gold leaves. They are actually um, decorative bobby pins that I found in the the hair section and I when I saw them I thought they were they were gorgeous but I wouldn't wear them and um, I thought they went really well on the layout 
So I did grab a piece of that washi and I did buy this washi quite some time ago from the reject shop and I just laid a strip of it on a piece of vellum and punched it out with the tiny little retro flower and I'm going to place them in the middle uh, as centers in the middle of the other flowers that I'd punched out. Um, just I did play around <laughs> a lot a lot a lot I just had fun playing around with this. Um, I do bring in the what am I doing now sorry oh I'm gonna do the the top and bottom with that um, punch border and I do rip the washi in half so it's all jagged and a bit thinner and I just glue the top and bottom down uh, with the border and the washi there Okay, so I'm getting ready to glue down my um, bits and pieces, my picture, and this is a picture of myself. I plan on journaling about my um, my journey in the last year um, in scrapbooking and all the wonderful people I've met, um, being on a design team and all that. So that's why I made this layout about myself. Um, I did grab some white cotton from my... Uh, sewing cotton from my stash and I do layer it under the flowers and I also pop some at the top and the bottom to bring some more of that in and just gluing down the flowers I also bring in from my stash some uh, rhinestones I wanted some large uh, gold kind of colored rhinestones to go in the middle of those big pink flowers and uh, so I grabbed some from my stash so this is where I decided to pop my, where, where my um, third popped up hexagon would be after I'd got all that kind of placed and glued down. Um, I knew I wanted the three, up, uh, three popped up just so it wasn't all flat and just using some foam uh, pop dots to do that. So in that vellum um, pack that you can get with this uh, collection there was these two little cute tags and I just glued them and tucked them up under the flowers to add a little bit more um, embellishment there and um, I did punch out some smaller flowers I thought I was going to add them but I uh, didn't end up doing that and just gluing in the bobby pins I didn't cut them down or um, try and manipulate them in any way I just glued them as is onto the page they're still stuck there <laughs> So 
So this is where I bring in the that goldy brown coloured bling for the larger flowers there and I use that um, smaller bling that Rach had sent to me um, for the smaller flowers and uh, I will leave a link to that video below. Uh, we sent each other something to use in our projects. So what I've done here is um, grab my border punch and punched out just one punch on either side of my layout and I'm going to back it with some of that gorgeous uh, floral paper. Now having that band-aid and a sore thumb made me really struggle with this um, thread up the top here. I bust with it so much. And what I've done there is grab two pieces of the ephemera. Um, the bottom black one was actually an LP or record um, graphic and I just layered the love the love this journey does it say um, on top of it. And I wanted to layer some of that thread underneath so I could bring some of it um, to the top of the layout. <laughs> and I just struggled. It just kept sticking to my... My fingers were dry as well because it's been so dry and cold here. And um, I get there in the end. I use my stapler and staple it. And I do pop a little bit of glue under there to help it... Um, help the thread stay where I want. And now I'm working down on the uh, bottom there and this piece of ephemera is a vellum piece and it says happy birthday and I'm just going to pop it on there so it reads happy and I'm just going to cut the excess off and I can save the birthday for another layout or even a card or something. Now I'm so happy I got this. I found it in the stationery section in the reject shop and they are just like gelatos. They are beautiful. So I grabbed the pink one out, but it was a bit light. Um, it was on the lighter side. So I just grabbed the red to darken it up and got the right shade of pink to make some splatters on my page. So in that pack of the, um, the uh, what were they called, the gel watercolours or something, um, there was a gold one and it was shimmery in that but it was the wrong coloured gold, it was more of a yellow one, the gold that I've got on the layout is more of a dark, dark gold and I did splatter it on and I kind of went, oh, but um, I grabbed some tissue and kind of dab at it and it kind of took some of it away so it's it's still there but um, it doesn't look too bad and to finish up I am going to add some more of those little uh, little blings I, I'm lost for words <laughs> little blings just up um, to the top and the bottom and of course I struggle at the top trying to make it look random and I was like well just put it down and leave it uh, you know I could play with that all afternoon and it still wouldn't look right to me so I I play with it for a little while and I was just like no just leave it so I've got some um, slow down footage here of the layout and I'll have some photos to at the end the one thing that I do add is a glassine bag to the back of my layout I just um, Used some double-sided tape and made a pocket on the back of my layout. Grabbed two journaling cards from the journaling card pack to pop, pop in there. And that's where my journaling's going to go. And that's it for my layout. I am absolutely thrilled with the way this came out. And I've had so much fun playing with this collection from the reject shop. So don't forget to check out Rach. Um, I'll leave links below. I will leave links below to the first video. Uh, so 
if you want to enter our giveaway it'll have all the details for that in that video and I'll probably pop some info down um, downstairs I was gonna say downstairs <laughs> um, down below um, as well but um that's pretty much it for me today guys and don't forget to check back next week for our next project bye Thank you.